This is the Airbnb I stayed in uh, during a recent trip to Kampala, Uganda. I was there for two months and stayed in this place for two weeks. Price was about, uh, I believe it was like 20, 20 US dollars a night. Uh, one thing with Airbnb is if you stay, there's usually a weekly discount and sometimes a monthly discount. So if you're going to stay there a couple weeks, uh, you can get like, for example, this place had a 5% weekly discount. Uh, I remember a couple years ago I was in Kampala and I stayed in a house which had a 50% monthly discount. I was there for a month. So the main reason I chose this location was because it's close to the Akachia Mall. And uh, Akachia Mall, not only the mall itself, but around the mall, is uh, there's a lot of nice cafes, restaurants, nightclubs, uh, a couple supermarkets within the mall. There's a Price Right supermarket, which, which is a... Uh, ideal place to pick up some groceries and um, this uh, this location is within walking distance now the in this video you're gonna see me basically take the long way to the mall I could go the other direction it will only, it would only take about five minutes to get there uh, but I thought this would be a more interesting video so um, we're walking along Kira Road here now a few weeks before I was staying on the other side of the road uh, up, uh, up up a ways uh, in another Airbnb and uh, as you can see by this road um, the problem with the other place was I t to walk to the mall I would have actually have to cross this road and trust me uh, trying to cross this road is, during the daytime can be very hazardous so I would usually just take a boda cost about a thousand uh, Uganda shillings and um, I would get to the mall in about two or three minutes So right here we're passing a taxi park, which, which is these little mini buses here. And um, when I'm in Kampala, I very rarely take uh, one of these taxis. I usually take, uh, to go to short distance, I'll just take a Boda. Um, and Uber is very good here. Uh, the prices are very low. Um, and usually, in most cases, they get here. They get to where you're located in about five minutes or less. Uh, I did have a couple of problems with uh, what, what would happen is I'd call an Uber and look for the Uber with that license plate and somebody would show up in a car with a different license plate number and so I had to tell them to go because I remember I think it was about a year and a half ago I took an Uber with a different license plate and uh, halfway through the trip of course the guy's taught, telling me it's going to cost two times as much or 20000 um, whereas the uh, Uber app was telling me it was only going to cost 8000 So uh, if you take Uber and Kampala, make sure the driver has the correct license plate. So right here we're walking up to Bokoto Road, and on this road you'll see... Um, Actually, there's a, uh, Alliance Francaise. If you want to learn some French in Kampala, you can go there. Uh, there's also Cavendish U University, quite a few restaurants and um, office, small office buildings as well. Um, you'll notice a lot of potholes on the road. Uh, when I was in Kampala, it rained almost every day. And uh, after a few weeks of rain, uh, it seemed like the road suffered quite a bit. And you saw quite a few potholes opening up. So.
Okay, so straight ahead is Acacia Mall, big building straight ahead, and um, what we're going to do is uh, take a left up here and show you some of the establishments around the mall. Now straight ahead, you, you, straight ahead you've got Chili's, which is kind of like a fast food restaurant. They have free Wi-Fi there. This is so you see straight ahead here these green trees. Oh, I'll pass by closely, but uh, there is a very nice cafe there, and I was there a couple times. Um, only issue was uh, to get the Wi-Fi, you have to buy these little what's called Roki Spot cards, and you connect to Roki Spot, and then you enter in the ID, and it just wasn't working. Uh, matter of fact, I had constant problems with that uh, in cafes around here. Is Whenever you had to enter some sort of ID to get on the internet, on my MacBook Air, yeah, here's a cafe right here. Uh, whenever you had to enter an ID, I always had problems um, with my iPhone and MacBook Air. But when there was uh, just a Wi-Fi router and you just, you just had to enter a password, it wasn't a problem. Uh, on the left here, you've got a few bars. You've got the Sky Lounge, and that's kind of a good place to hang out maybe before you got to a club uh, the bistro I never went there and there's another one up here on the left it's kind of high up uh, actually this is the sky lounge right here and you see that large red building there's another one called I believe it was called Cielo lounge which is uh, uh, another nice looking place Very smart. How are you? Good. 
right here straight ahead is a supermarket. Uh, there's also a supermarket within the mall called Price Right. Uh, this is, I believe, a little bit cheaper. Uh, they've got a couple maybe different items. So uh, if you want to save a little bit of money, you can go there. Uh, like I said, though, within the mall is the Price Right. And I, most of the time, I would get my groceries there. So I'm heading out uh, down close to the main entrance. On the right here, that white, that white section is the main entrance. We've got another cafe on the left here. Didn't see a lot of people there most of the time. Now right here is the Cafe Cerise. You see that outdoor patio right next to the main entrance. That's a very popular place, especially on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Just a great place to uh, hang out, have a coffee or uh, have a beer and just watch people walk by. On the left here we have another very popular restaurant. It's all always full uh, when I was uh, checking it out. I never actually went there, but uh, you can see it from the Cafe Siri and uh, there's always a lot of people there. Now they're right here on the outside of the mall uh, is a place called La Caramel, which is yet another cafe. And the internet there was rock solid as well. And since I had to work every day, that was important. Um, one of the problems with the Cafe Siri is you have to enter these codes to get uh, on the internet and I, I swear about maybe 50, 60% of the time there was a problem you would get constantly bumped off the internet or it wouldn't work at all. Now you can see this traffic here and that's why it's crucially important if you're going to stay here for any length of time to be in a good location because if, if you're uh, if you're not you can easily spend an hour an hour and a half just getting someplace where you uh, close for example uh, from Moenga uh, to one of the malls which would only take uh, in normal circumstances would only take about 10 minutes uh, one day it took me an hour and a half to get there it's just pretty much stopped traffic the whole way so on the outside of the mall here we have a good place to exchange money on the right lots of banks um, I did notice this time you see this uh, uh, sign on the right uh, it, it w a lot of times uh, before I needed a visa card to get money out of the bank but here you've got quite a few ATMs that accept MasterCard if you need to take money uh, that way um, whereas in previous years I didn't notice that now on the left here see that gas station there's a, yet another popular cafe called Cafe Java's <clears throat> And here they see this total gas station. Uh, there's a 24-hour place where you can uh, buy things in you know, the usual gas station shop. And above that is yet another cafe called Java House. Good place to eat breakfast. Wi-Fi is rock solid. Uh, now to get home, in most cases, I would just uh, come up here and go through this uh, passageway. So uh, that pretty much sums it up. Uh, I'll be having a putting up quite a few more videos about uh, my stay in Kampala in the next few days and weeks. Thanks for watching.
ଆମ ପାଖରେ